So the squad's becoming too hot to handle. For the last two weeks, they've been leading an intifada against President Biden, cleverly using the Palestinians as cover. Today, the Hamas caucus set up shop outside the Capitol and called for a ceasefire. Hamas gets a free shot at Israel. Oh, and they accuse Joe Biden of wanting them dead. Most America is not with you, Mr. President. Most of America is not with the people that don't want to de-escalate and facilitate a ceasefire. I have residents calling me, telling me, Rashida, the previous president wanted to ban us and probably put us in concentration camps. This one wants us just to die. That's how it feels. Shame on them. Oh, God. So Tlaib, a Palestinian American who flew a Palestinian flag outside her office, threatened to sabotage Joe Biden's reelection. I'm going to speak the language. Mr. President, Michigan is an important state for you. So is Pennsylvania and so is Georgia. And guess what, Mr. President? We will not forget. Ooh, so the squad is threatening to mobilize minorities and young voters against their own party's president for helping a Democrat ally defeat terrorism. And members of Congress are now calling on leadership to deny intelligence briefings about Israel's war plans to Tlaib. The thought is, I guess, she could be a security risk. And then Omar, who married her brother, actually asked Joe Biden, what's wrong with you? Israel has dropped more bombs in the last 10 days than we dropped in a whole year in Afghanistan. Where is your humanity? Where is your outrage? Where is your care for people? What is wrong with you? Oh, dear. So Biden only won the White House because the Democrat base was united. The far left held their breath and yanked the lever. Now, the far left's engaging in open political warfare with the sitting president. And donors are already defunding universities for siding with Hamas. And those same donors are going to defund Democrat campaigns if they don't denounce the squad. And so far, House Democrats have chickened out. 